since I decided that for this new start stamp set, I would make a box, I have already gone ahead and cut it out. Again, I'm using this Geo Heart Box die by Spellbinders. And the information is there. And hopefully I have it the right way. So there is the information for that. I will have it linked down below. But I will mention that you will need to cut this out uh, four times or two times to make sure that you get the entirety of this die. And then what I do is I use the excess scraps that have already been cut out and I line it up to cut this out two more times. So you need two of these heart pieces and four of these strips. I already put together the bottom of the box. I will not be stamping or doing anything to it. I want a white box. So this is that heart piece. And then you need two of those strips here to put that together. And you will also need to cut off the ends of one strip um, so they can lay better in the box. I don't know if you can see that, but the ends will overlap and you don't need two tabs um, in those places where they overlap. Okay. So again, this will be the bottom of my box. For the top of my box, I'm thinking that I want to do like a geode um, look to this. And I would like to have the butterflies um, sitting on top and add a small sentiment. So let's get started. Okay, so for this geode, I think I'll be doing a little blue geode and I have stains, I have spray, I have oxide and I don't have each color in each type of medium. Um, so I am just going to use what I have and see how this turns out. Um, so this is the faded jeans dispersed oxide spray. I have Stormy Sky Stain here. I have some Chipped Sapphire here. And I think the Faded Jeans is a little darker. I also have some Humistone. And I think that's what I'm going to use for now. I may go back in with a little black soot um, to make sure that I get what I'm looking for. So I'm probably going to just use, I don't know. Let's see how this goes. So taking that faded jeans, I want my geode to come from the center like this. gonna blend a little bit more of that there and I'm not looking for this to be perfect in any way shape or form I'm gonna take a skinnier brush and add to this concentrating on the center And then, let's see, if I have a smaller brush, which I don't, so I'm just gonna wipe this off and add a little bit of the lighter color to the edges, which I think is that Okay, so this is what I'm working with right now. And it may not look like much now, but we are gonna make this something. So I'm not sure if you can see the variation, but I can see it. And then what I'm gonna do is go in with some glue where everything is a little rough and ragged. 
and I'm going to add my gilding flakes. into the container. I am using the contrast of copper to this blue. Usually, you know, people use gold, but I wanted it to have a copper tone. So I have flakes everywhere, but this is what we are left with for the time being. I'm just going to sit this to the side and let it dry and try to clean up my space a bit. So I know I wanted to use these butterflies. I'm just going to stamp them onto some vellum that I have. This is just some scratch vellum from the last card. Um, I just want to use the butterflies for right now. So I'm just going to add them in here and go from there. I will be heat embossing these as well and I'm not sure I need well I'm gonna fold them in half so okay so let's emboss these all right so you can't see it but my butterflies are there and I'm just going to use what's left on my brush to see if I like what it will look like. I just did the back of the page. So. Just using what's left. Just to give a little tint to the vellum. So this is what they are looking like. Still pretty light. So I'm just going to go in with the Stormy Sky since that's the lightest color and I didn't really use much of it. Um, so I want the stain hopefully to stick to this vellum. So here we are. I like it. All right, so this is how my box is looking. I already added on the edges and I decided that I wanted to add a few seed beads to the center just to give more of the effect of being a geode. So I need to um, add some glue to the center and I'm just going to spread a few of these lighter blue seed beads here that I have. Just using what's in my stash. If I was thinking, I could have added some alcohol ink to these to get them to be the right color blue. But nonetheless, I think this will look good. Okay, so I have my sentiment on vellum, but I decided I'm going to add it with white cardstock. And I'm going to have it... I'm gonna have it like this for now. So let me cut down this tail a bit. There is my sentiment all added on. And now I'm gonna add a couple of the butterflies. Again, I ink these up and I'm just going to pop them up onto this. Um, I want it to have the look of being flat all right guys so here is how my box turned out i ended up just adding one butterfly and then going in with the gilding flakes and just adding them all around the box i really love how it turned out and there is the bottom for you but yeah guys so this is what i have created again i just added ink to the vellum i used some clear 
uh, embossing powder to outline that butterfly. I have my faux geode with the seed beads and then the sentiment there. And again, this is the new start um, stamp set by Spellbinders. I haven't put them all back, but yeah, guys. So there you have it. That's all that I have. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.